Hi, I'm James Schellinglaw aboard Icon of the Seas, Royal Caribbean's brand new ship, which is the ultimate family vacation. I'm here with a, a familiar face, if you've been watching us, Jay Schneider, who's the Chief Product Innovation Officer for Royal Caribbean. And Jay has been intimately involved with everything on this ship. And so we're going to talk to him about why this is the ultimate family vacation. And you'll hear all about that and more on Insider Travel Report. Hey, first of all, great to see you again. We've been on a few ships together and we've interviewed, and here you are. This is really the new breed of ship, the new style of ship, Icon of the Seas. Now, you, you, this is your really family-focused ship. I mean, all your, your ships are family-focused, but this one, why is this one so much so different and really so family-focused? Yeah, I mean, we've positioned all of our ships as the ultimate family vacation. This ship, we had a mantra of, let's go build the world's best family vacation. You'll notice I didn't say the world's best cruise line or best cruise ship. We really built this ship to compete with any other vacation your family wants to go do in the world, whether it's a trip to Disney, a trip to Vegas in the Hoover Dam, the Grand Canyon, skiing, whatever you might want to do. We built this ship through the creation of such iconic neighborhoods and experiences to really live up to that. And I, again, I'm biased. I think we we over exceeded that mission. Well, indeed, you're talking about neighborhoods. There are eight neighborhoods on the ship. In fact, we're in one of them, Surfside, which is really the sort of the family family with young kids, right? We had a lot of fun as a team um, creating the eight neighborhoods and making sure they all had a purpose and reason for being. Um, of those eight, three are traditions, things we've done on other ships, and five are new revolutionary neighborhoods. Surfside is where we're standing right now is one of them. It was purposely built for uh, families with young children. And so every venue in this neighborhood was thought through with that creative mantra in mind. Um, and the end result is a really great experience that we think families are going to love. In fact, we can look outside. There's a carousel there for the kids. There's a small water park. And yet, if we go up a few decks, you got another neighborhood, the hideaway which is really sort of a great beach area and great beach for adults and in fact an infinity pool as well. Yeah, I mean the hideaway was designed to be your ultimate Vegas resort party day. Um, and so if you think of that experience, gorgeous views of the ocean in a steep terrace lounge seating, two amazing hot tubs, a DJ, uh, an infinity edge suspended pool, the first time somebody's ever suspended a pool over another neighborhood. I'm a little scared of that one. I'm like, <laughs> it's structurally sound. Um, but really fun views of the ocean, amazing sunset, and an awesome bar. And then right next to it, right behind it actually is the largest water park at sea. And I, I don't know if you've measured water parks at sea, but I gotta tell you, there's so many different, there are what, six, six, six amazing slides. And that, those, these, these scare me, these ones. <laughs> So when you have the bold ambition to put six water slides on a ship and six water slides that are that amazing, you're allowed to define the definition of a water park. And so we actually have the only water park at sea. And so if somebody else who has lesser slides wants to argue with us, they got to have six to make it a water park. At least that's our fun definition. Well, of it. you got that one, and then you got the tallest water slide in the Caribbean with your uh, when you when you're on uh, on the you know perfect day at Coco Cay, and I've actually done that one. I didn't do it this time, but uh, I still haven't done the slides here. But I'm gonna, and are, have you done it? I have, and they are awesome. Right. Like we leaned into really the rider experience. We wanted people to have just amazing fun lots of screams for kids, lots of adrenaline pumping thrill, and whether it's the storm surge where it's a lotus leaf over the side of the ship where the acrylic, the glass, the see-through has been purposely designed so as you come through the green tunnel, it's dark, and at the last minute it looks like you're flying off the edge of the ship because you can see into the ocean before you get sucked back, or the um, drop slide, which is the first drop slide at sea ever with an acrylic floor and acrylic tube so it looks like you're falling onto the deck below you before you get pulled into the tube. Those moments were meant to really amplify the thrill, and we've heard nothing but rave reviews. Um, I got to do it for the first time uh, in 37 degree weather in Finland, and it was quite fun. That would be a different kind of experience, I think. But they're <laughs> just so fun. Yeah, and then you have this other thing where you go out flying over the, the water. What's that? Is the crown? Crown's Edge. Crown's Edge. Yeah, yeah you, you go through a, a kind of an obstacle course over around our crown and anchor that's perched on the side of the ship. And essentially, you'll find yourself dangling over the side of the ship while we're moving. 
Um, and when you get to the certain point, the floor drops and you go flying off the side of the ship. An another experience I got to do here. I got to come back. I like, and then just as we're, we're not even out of the stern of the ship yet. I mean, this oh, is yeah. a, we're, and so then you also have all these great, it's called the, uh, ultimate family, uh, uh, townhouse, I believe, which is a three story. I think it's already sold out for the rest of the year. Uh, and, and, and all of the, the, the accommodations in this area and probably throughout the ship are really family friendly. Right. They, they really are. We've leaned into new family accommodations that we've never done before. Yes, there is the continuation of our ultimate family product in this ship with the ultimate family townhouse, three story over the top townhouse uh, with its own slide from deck to deck. But you also have our Surfside suites, which were designed for families, our um, uh, infinite uh, family balconies, mm -hmm. which give um, uh, room for six, where you have a split bathroom, split room, bunk bed for kids, great balcony experience for adults, and really a way to give separation so that families can have separation if they want and they come together as well. And so those new family specific types complement all of the other um, classic uh, room types we have with more space for everyone. And I want to move farther to the bow and something amazing, uh, your aqua dome, which you put up, it, which use, and then the aqua theater that comes with it. Uh, what is that area and why is that so important for being a family friendly ship? Well, so the aqua dome is our newest, one of our newest neighborhoods. It's truly a transformational space where we did relocate uh, the aqua theater uh, or move the aqua theater into that space. The aqua theater alone is the next generation of aqua theater. Um, Nick and team have done an amazing job bringing new technology to life with new show experiences that are going to blow people's mind. And so the theater alone is an over the top experience, let alone the dome itself. The neighborhood is ringed with Hooked, uh, which is our classic seafood That's restaurant. The seafood. Um, the Overlook, which is an amazing bar and lounge experience with vast expanse views of the ocean. Uh, Ryan Bean, which is a new boozy coffee uh, product for us. And then Aquadome Market, which is our first foray into a food hall with amazing complimentary food um, in five food stalls. And then you'll also find our newest brand, the Royal Bling. Uh, which is definitely uh, its own fun, kind of over-the-top experience. No, and so you mentioned food, and this this place has food for everyone, all kinds of families. And one of the new things is, is for more adults uh, is the Empire Supper Club. Talk a little bit about that. Sure. On a ship like this, we're standing in Surfside Eatery. Surfside Eatery is a, a new buffet concept for families with young kids. That's on one end of the spectrum. So complimentary buffet for families. On the other end of the spectrum, you have Empire Supper Club, which is an intimate fine dining. It's 38 seats. It's what we call entertainment, which is the marriage of entertainment and culinary together. And so you've got a, a three-piece band with a more amazing singer, I think Roaring Twenties, sort of New York style uh, music, all paired to, to food. And so it's a two and a half um, hour experience that you go through. Um, it's small and intimate on purpose. Um, 38 Seats gives it this really amazing feel. Um, and so that journey is all under the Empire State theme. Mm. And so the food is inspired by the Empire State, the music is inspired by the Empire State, and the design of the venue is just gorgeous. It is amazing. And I want to close because we could go on forever. There's so much to this ship. We've got about 10 interviews on this. But the one last thing I want to talk about is the entertainment on board because I was lucky enough. I, I saw Nick Weir's presentation the other day and then I saw The Wizard of Oz which uh, is really your, your marquee show. There's a lot of other shows. We talked about the Aqua Theater. There's the ice shows that we have. But The Wizard of Oz is truly remarkable. You know, um, this ship is an amazing, amazing leap forward and transformation um, in the family vacation space, but it only comes to life with two things, amazing culinary and amazing entertainment. And our hotel staff step up and it's an amazing uh, hotel service experience as well. Um, but Lincoln and team have blown the roof off when it comes to food and beverage on this ship. And Nick and team have done just an amazing job uh, with the Wizard of Oz, uh, New Ice Show, the singing is amazing. The set pieces are amazing. No, this theater is is state of the a state of the art, better than anything on Broadway. And and he, you know Nick Nick, I guess you could give him a lot of money to he can do, put it all together. Uh, but but it is an amazing. I mean, it's not like you don't know the story, but to see how it's told is just a, a totally amazing thing. And I was blown away. I got to tell you, money buys you certain things. It really takes um, the creative energy that that they throw into it. You got to you got to even credit. It's, it's money alone doesn't get you there. 
it takes all the hard work and creative energy to get it across the finish line. And then the other thing is, one last thing, uh, you're saying it's a family ship, but we're talking a wide variety of types of families, right? Absolutely. So you're going from, tell us what, you're kind of catering to a lot of different uh, audiences here. Yeah, our, the mantra of our brand is E for everyone. And as we researched with guests what that meant for them, everybody vacations differently. And so to be able to serve the world's best family vacation, that is a family of four, a multi-gen family, and it's a retired couple potentially, or a couple with no kids. Um, and this, this ship offers something for everyone. Well, I got to tell you, you, you've hit a home run here. We didn't, we, we expected it, but uh, this is a totally different kind of ship. If everybody says it's, it's a, I, notice we haven't even talked about size of ship here. Nope. Uh, that's not important here. Our because focus was iconic experiences, and that's been our, been our mantra from day one. Well, Jay, it's great to see you here again. I guess the next time we'll see you is on Utopia this season. It's this not summer. too far away. Yeah. So we'll look forward to seeing you there, and then we can talk a little bit about how everything is played out here with Icon. Again, thanks for taking the time. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the time. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.